Cool, that's gonna be lick number nine for a chicken picking folder. Uh, basically what I have going on here is I wanted to do something that, if you're in the Kia A, there's all sorts of cool chicken picking stuff, but you can also do this not in a solo. You can do it within the rhythm structure of whatever you're doing. There's tons of different um, train beats that you're always gonna be encountered with with uh, country music, and I kind of felt like this might be one that you could just use as a variant to uh, the, you know, like a, a working man blues type of vibe or a type of feel uh, or a type of tempo. So I wanted to include um, stuff in the lower register and then once again, like some of the stuff, and this is always musical, it always works, is a call and response within the line that you're doing. Starting out with a cluck. So everybody's kind of done. So if we start out with a cluck, we start off doing a little bit more uh, a little bit different type of rhythm, so you're kind of accenting that upbeat. Okay, so that line right there, the other than uh, some of the phrasing and some of the different type of uh, licks that you, you may already know, it's it's incorporating a lot of that. We're just putting clucks in between certain notes. First of all, right off the bat, okay, and I would use pinky and index five and two uh, right off the get-go. That would be the beginning and then the next part would be so it's important to get that cluck before the a string so you get and the last once again like how a lot of the kind of honky-tonk playing you're going to use that middle finger to bend down just a little bit don't be too, too concerned with it be more concerned about your tempo and your rhythm and where it is in the phrase Okay, so that, that in itself could be uh, um, a nice little fill to whatever you might, if you're just kind of chugging along. So it, it's, in, it's kind of, uh, it, it's multifunctional, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. So the next portion of this is, once again, we got a kind of a response here. And we're going to do a double stop lick. There's tons of double stops in this, obviously. The next portion is going to be... So that one includes, the, the cool part about that is the rhythm that I like the most isn't even the clucks, but the clucks are there. So you got... So in this one, you're going to start out doing a double stop right here. Uh, index finger, ring, and then middle. Just walking it down. It's that, that little triplet there. So the clucks are going to happen uh, after you've done the first section of it, and then once you work your way down, that. And then you got to sneak that. That's kind of the quick part. So in this one, uh, as you walk it down, because that's the important part, because that's what adds that rhythm. So the, the, sometimes, you know, as they say, less is more. Well, what we're doing is we're doing less notes, but we're including the rhythm within that to give it kind of more of a groove, more of a, you know, obviously Jerry Reed influenced lick. So. And you can, you can kind of shift some of the clucks where I have it, you know, um, as, as I say in a lot of this stuff, you can always modulate, mutate, do whatever you want with it. But I think it's a cool one that you can wind up doing specifically pretty much only for rhythm. I think that, uh, um, that's something that kind of goes sight unseen and not really uh, done as much uh, with people that are more considered, uh, more focused on uh, doing lead stuff. There's tons of cool stuff that you can do over rhythm to really spice up um, your licks and tricks and all that stuff. And I think uh, lick number nine shows that pretty good in the Kia A. Hope you dig it.